Hey, thank you so much for joining me today, Anish. So tell me a little bit about, about what you do and for how long you've been doing it. Thanks, Nate. Um, my name again is Anish Patel with Azalea Home Care. We are a home care agency here located in uh, Gwinnett County, but we service the Atlanta metro area, surrounding counties. We've been operating for the last 10 plus years. Um, our goal is to bridge the gap between facility care and nursing home level of care by supporting our disabled communities in their homes, no matter the age. Awesome. So what are your goals? Where do you want to take the company long term? Well, um, we want to continue expanding on our ethos that is home care for all, right? And uh, the way we get there is, is to continue to increase our licensure base. Um, and right now, the state has many programs, but they're all uh, level of cares is different and warranted. So we want to add our additional licensure so that way we can ha have a more of a wide cast net and help as many people as possible. Um, and that's, you know, that's that's basically our goal right there. Perfect. Perfect. So who is your target market? Who are you out there to help? Um, really any indiv individual needing in-home care assistance um, or if they're in a facility and they need supplemental care, we want to be there to give a one-on-one -on -one care base. Um, um, so it's anywhere from private pay to Medicaid through state waiver programs, grants, um, and you know, eventually supplemental care through Medicare as they, they slowly start to roll that out. Absolutely. So as you've been building out your company over the past 10 years, um, what what is a mistake that you've made or a lesson you learned that any other business owner could learn, regardless of what industry they're in? I mean, honestly, <clears throat> it's a marathon, not a sprint. I would say that from the get go, um, you know, you come in gung ho wanting to change the world, whatever you have, whether it be a product or a service or, you know, um, you're an ancillary company that is providing a service to uh, in collaboration with with bigger uh, conglomerate, uh, uh, conglomerates, you know, uh, our goal is, you know, you, you just want to take it as as it comes um, and really focus on the step that steps in the process. Awesome. Awesome. So as you've worked through that, have you had a great coach or mentor that stands out and why? So, I mean, I've, I've, I, during my experience, I started in the home care field. Um, in, I got my uh, degree in hospitality management at Georgia State University. And, and for me, I wanted to um, really impact people in a service level. So I worked in a hotel for about five years, the Sheraton downtown. And um, you know, I, I, he wasn't quote unquote, you know, my mentor per se, but he was the general manager of that, uh, that property, Niles Harris. And he just taught me a lot of things, but I think one of the main things he taught me was just really focusing on meeting every single client on the ground level, um, walking the floor with him. And then you'll learn so much being active with your employee base. Um, and then you'll catch a lot of things. So it was for me, you, you keep an eye on pitfalls, you keep an eye on the attention to detail, and then you can pass it on to the rest of your team. So I think Niles Harris was uh, definitely a mentor for me growing up. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, it's definitely, uh, it's hard to build team and, and really learn your organization if you spend the entire time in, in your office. <laughs> Correct. Correct. Awesome. So what does the future look like for Azalea Home Care? What are some challenges you might see as you grow and move forward? Well, I mean, I think the uh, the pandemic has put a spotlight on uh, you know, how important in-home care services are. Uh, families continue to shift from facility-based care to individualized home care. Um, and then the challenges moving forward, honestly, is, is what a lot of companies are facing with staffing shortages and staffing issues. And, and our goal and responsibility as a home care provider uh, being in this space is really to empower our future nurses, um, show them the purpose and value they have assisting families in need and, and the impact that they can create. Because by, by them going out to support uh, other families, they're allowing those families to get back into the working for, force. And um, that's huge for, for what we want to continue to push forward with. Absolutely. So if you were speaking to a young person today that is getting ready to start their first business, what would your number one piece of advice be to them? So it's patience and persistence. And I would also, you know, with, with that is you have to be persistent and doubling down on the rough days. Um, the harder it gets, the closer you are to something great. I always, that's the way I've always looked uh, at life. And 
um, you just push through it. You push through the mud and you come out on top. Uh, um, you know, pers patience, persistence, and, and just keeping a positive outlook. Absolutely. So what's, what's the best way for people to connect with you or learn more about Azalea Home Care? So, you know, uh, Azalea Home Care, you can come, come to our website, uh, www.azaleahomecare.com. Um, we have our offices located in Lawrenceville, uh, and we, we cover that Atlanta metro area. We just recently uh, got uh, an award for Best in Gwinnett uh, for home care industry. Um, and, you know, for us, it's, um, you know, more than 40 million Americans are, are pro provide unpaid services, and we just want to be a provider that gives, you know, quality care, um, pushes out nurses that really can be impactful for them and get these people back to work because that's, that's ultimately what moves America. We got to work. We got to get out in the field and, and push ourselves forward. And caregivers are so important to that. Um, but yeah, you can, you can visit our website. You can give us a call uh, on our office line, 770-491-7122. And one of our reps can, can help you out there. Perfect. And I'll link all that in the, in the description so everyone can find it easily. Awesome. So my last question for you today is what most inspires you as you move forward in the business? So I think family caregivers inspire me. So anyone that's taking care of a loved one that's juggling career goals and then also juggling family obligations, it's always inspiring to see that because when you see a person going through that challenge, like you can't help but want to help them, especially if you're in a home care setting seeing that inspires me daily and, and inspires our team because we, we hear stories all the time. We come across people that are just struggling to keep up. Um, they want to take care of their loved ones, but then they have work obligations, right? They have to support their other family members or support them. And, um, you know, I think it's always inspiring seeing people that are selflessly giving themselves to to their families without any anything in return, but, but also like providing you know, a foundation for them to, to grow in as well. So. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate your time and thanks for sharing. I appreciate it. Nate. Have a great day.